Hello everyone, welcome to Malware Analysis course. Today we're going to speak about basic dynamic analysis, how we can do it, uh, how to get good results from it, how to get things like IOCs from it. So let's start. First thing, what's the purpose of dynamic analysis? As I told you, the purpose of dynamic analysis is just to get the overview of, of the behavior of malware. You know, maybe just like ransomware, maybe just like information stealer, maybe it is, uh, maybe just only backdoor. It depends on each malware. So, second thing, maybe you, in most cases, you will get the second stage reload in case of the malware is new, okay, and uh, just attack happen maybe for one hour, okay, mostly you will get the payload, okay. But uh, if there is, I mean, um, if there is like uh, one year for attack, okay, so mostly the domain gonna be down, okay, and I'm gonna show you how to get the second stage payload. Um, you know, there is sandboxes, okay, and sandboxes purpose of it just like run malware on it and uh, just get the behavior of it, okay, and uh, if there is any new downloaded file or even dropped file, so you can get it, okay, it's just like similar to virtual machine, just like run the malware unit and just get the result but the interesting thing in any sandbox you can get any downloaded file okay once the domain is already up okay so let's continue this is the only purpose of basic dynamic analysis just to know the, the malware behavior and in most cases you're gonna get the second stage payload so there is some tools we mostly we use them to understand the behavior of malware for example, Process Explorer, Process Monitor, Wireshark. So, in this video, I'm gonna explain about uh, the purpose of tool. And in next video, will be practical on the on the on the on, the, on each tool and give you real scenario how to hand how to use this tool or even how to get uh, good information from it. Okay, so we we'll use Process Explorer, Process Monitor, Wireshark. So for process explorer, just only list all current process, okay? And if new process appear, it will show it to you that. So the purpose of process explorer is just only list all process of the operating system, in even the the current process, okay? And the process is gonna be run or even created uh, after uh, maybe after you run a malware, maybe you know some malware can create new process maybe malware can override process it depends on the behavior of malware but it will show that and in most cases you will know the final files that gonna be run so that's the purpose of process explorer so let this is the process of explorer, the process explorer it just like lists you all uh, all process for example system process and for example you see interrupt uh, SMS is the XE. This is child of system process. For example, you see this process, and you're gonna see services to the XE. Is we host the XE. This is a child of the process. Uh, is 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 VC host is a child of process service to the XE, and service the XE is a child of this process, and so on. It just lists you all current process. So you're gonna ask me question. What's the purpose of that? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Each malware must be have his own process to make sure this malware is running right now. Okay, so in most cases you're gonna see the process of the the process name of malware. So that's 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 why we monitor process. For example, suppose that there is a malware and it uh, drop new file. Okay. So what you're gonna see, you will see something like, hey, this is the name of malware, and you're gonna see new malware name. I, I mean, new dropped file maybe already created. Maybe it will be similar like that, or maybe it will delete the old file and uh, override the new malware with with new file, right? So that's that's why we monitor process using process explorer. So just list you all process. So let's go to process monitor. So once you listed all process, okay, you can all you can also hey I mean for process explorer you already know that hey this malware maybe dropped a new file maybe just uh, deleted the current process of it and uh, created new process it depends on malware but the the, the operation or even how this how the, how does this happen okay just to only use process monitor the purpose of process monitor is just to 
monitor the behavior of malware of each process. For example, you have a file and you find this file already accessed registry, dropped a new file, uh, maybe get information for, from uh, from your machine like username, maybe get domain name, maybe just steal information of browser and so on. So based on the process names that already created, you can know this process. Hey, you see this process already already did something like get the domain name, maybe just to get username, maybe just to perform HTTP request. It depends, okay? Maybe you just create a new file, maybe it search for something and so on. So that's why we use process monitors. We need to monitor what happened in each process and what this process do. Just like monitor the file, just like monitor the behavior of file. So for you, each process must have the file. Okay. For example, let me go back. For example, the pro this process servers this exe. You will see the file name called service exe, and this file created this process. Okay. So once you click on file. Okay, you're gonna see what you're gonna see the behavior of file. Maybe you're gonna see something like uh, access registry or most cases. Maybe just like check for language of current machine. Maybe just to search for something in your computer. So it depends on each process. Uh, it depends on the each malware. Okay. So for example, the you see something like malware already encrypted the encrypted the current file of, of your computer. Okay. So how you can not not uh, not that in your machine? You will see something already created. The, for example, for WannaCry, you will see some extension. Okay, you will see it just search for file in your machine and they add extension on it. That's why we use process monitor. For example, you see some malware like get information steal from your machine from your machine. So how you can see that? You will see hey, it just access the path of registry and read this information. Maybe. Some malware can read like activation key, maybe just read license, maybe just like uh, get caches of graphs. You're gonna see everything like that in process monitor. Okay, so once you see things like that, you're gonna you, you will use you, you good you get every overview of the behavior of malware. Okay, so sometimes you will get dropped file of malware, other time you will get registry, and so on. It depends on behavior of malware. So this is the process monitor. Here it gives you the time this operation happened and what, and give you process name. For example, explorer.exe, and it made operation. Okay, at this time, and it give you pass of registry. Okay, and so on for all of, for all of the process of of current set. For example, let me return back to you to process explorer. You see something like that okay so for each process we can monitor what this process do okay based on a specific time for example just like monitor the behavior of malware in a specific time so you need to know what this file do okay at this time so this is a process monitor so let's go forward to Wireshark. So the purpose of Wireshark is just monitoring network protocols. Any network protocols can can monitor based with Wireshark. You need to know what communication happened. For example, you see malware. Okay, and you see this malware dropped a new file. Great. So what's on? What's going on again? I, you will see something like communication between attacker of ma of uh, between attacker. Okay, and current drop file. You will send information. For example, you have a malware, and this malware uh, used for, uh, for example, uh, information steal. Okay, just to get information from current machine. So what will happen? It will get the caches of uh, browser. Maybe steal messages. Maybe just steal username, password. So what will happen after that? You will say by logic, hey, you hit uh, this information will be sent to the attacker IB. Great. So at this point, you need to know. You need to know what what's going on in network. Uh, you need to know the communication. What is the IB address of attacker? What the attacker sent from my from my machine to other ma to attacker machine? Okay, that's good. So sometimes it, it, this will not only purpose of it. For example, you will see. Hey, for example, the Zamar will already infect your machine. Okay. But this is not the real malware. 
for example just like something like initial infection okay and the malware hey try to say okay i already infect this machine great so what's gonna on what i will happen then i will try to drop new file okay for more infection machine or even the, the original malware of attack okay for more infection or even for more control of machine so sometimes it will check only for for uh, i mean it's already infected the current machine and you need to know more persistent machine it will drop new file it will get some file maybe just uh, sometimes you will get second stage blue okay so as i told you in in um, in previous video we showed you that there is new file already downloaded okay so that's the only purpose of document just only new file created and uh, a new file will just like document file okay and once you double click on your document file you're gonna see what you're gonna see something like uh, uh, draw, uh, download a new file from attacker ib okay so that's the purpose of our shark you just need to know to monitor the behavior of malware based on network you just need to know the communication okay so once you get the communication you will understand what had been stolen in from machine and uh, maybe you can get second stage payload and uh, it depends on malware itself okay sometimes for example if we speak about wanna cry the only purpose of wanna cry just like hey you just monitor your machine and send the key of uh, of current uh, encryption key of current machine to the attacker IB address. Okay, so at this point, it just the only communication happened to to send the the encryption key to attacker IB address. Some these things happen only in run somewhere. It just like in, once encrypt a file, it uh, sends attacker. Uh, it, it just sends a, the encrypted key to the attacker IB address. So. It depends. It depends on each malware, but this is the common cases that you're gonna see for each malware. Great. So that's the purpose of Wireshark. Okay. For example, this is the Wireshark. Okay. You're just like monitor, and it, and the packet gonna be showed to you. Okay. So that's the only purpose of Wireshark. So let's go to next question. When do I use these tools? Okay for me or even for every malware analyst once we get sample okay don't go in deep for it you just need to know the behavior of it at the beginning okay you just need to know maybe you can i mean for example if you have a sample and uh, and the uh, attacker try to do some trick on some like what okay it just like once the file or read or even the current file of uh, malware infected your machine okay it will download another file and another file once infected the machine it will download another file and so on until it reaches to the final payload so at this point you don't need to consume all time to analyze each file okay you just need to know what's the final payload that's gonna happen at the end because mostly final payload will be part of uh, famous malware okay maybe just like look good maybe just like good kit it depends on, on malware itself so that's why we monitor the behavior okay and we need to know what's going on at the end okay that's what that's the purpose of this tool so once you get the sample try to monitor the behavior of malware it's just like quickest way to understand the malware behavior maybe just information stealer maybe just like run somewhere and depends on, on the malware itself so that's only the purpose of basic dynamic analysis and uh, we just use this tool okay maybe you'll see other tool like api monitoring maybe you see something like that but uh, at the end you need to know i mean this will be important tool for basic dynamic analysis okay and uh, even even if the, even there is other tool i'm gonna explain to you use them later if it's useful for for you but for me just like use this tool which will which will help you to understand what's going on in your machine so that's all me so important note for you please during using this tool maybe you get result other time you didn't get <laughs> okay so you're gonna ask me why i'm gonna tell you it depends on my in malware itself for example uh, maybe maybe malware will be run in your machine okay and uh, the only first thing the only purpose of current malware i mean if if we already speak about first stage reload is it just, just like it's checking for 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 this tool if it's already exit okay it will do nothing okay just like 
maybe just self deletion, just like the remove the malware itself. So at this point, you will you, this tool will be useless for you. Okay, it depends on the technique of malware, but uh, it's okay. I'm gonna show you post scenario. Okay, and I'm gonna speak in more details. And in next video, I'm gonna speak about uh, how to how to use this tool, how to get useful information of this tool, how to get uh, not in deep, it's just like understand the behavior of malware. So for you, result depends on mal on the behavior of malware. For example, there is malware. Check check for for things like that. Okay, just like Wireshark, Process Monitor, Process Explorer, maybe you just check for early for other tools. Once it find one of these tools already exists, it will not do nothing. Okay, I just like exit and there's just like self deletion of malware. Okay, so other time it will not it just continue whatever there is a tool or not. So it depends on attack itself, but mostly it will work through with this tool. Okay, so that's only for today. So in the practical video, I'm gonna give you real scenario. I'm gonna I'm gonna participate in in this tool to to help you how to get the useful information for this tool. So see you in this video. Have a nice day. Bye.